So today I have a Loyalty Tech Mini. It is a unit that mines ETC or Ethereum Classic. And as you can see, this PCI 6 pin has been, um, I think this unit was overclocked and it um, basically um, joined these two. Um, this is actually an adapter on this. Um, so what we're going to do is do through hole soldering today. So you can see here there's six solder joints that I have to loosen up and then detach this. So if you notice I did put capped on tape on the surrounding components here. Like this cap and this diode. And on the other side as well there is a fan adapter so I protected that as well. Um, this can be a little tricky. Most of the time you want to start with adding a little bit of solder paste depending on how old this solder is. It looks actually decent. So first I'm going to try just heating this up with a hot air gun set to 420 and an airflow of 47. And then I'm going to take my soldering iron and see if I can loosen these joints and then usually you can use a smaller screwdriver but you want to sneak it under this one. This all starts to get molten, all these solder joints. And then we're going to try to pry that down. And then we'll replace the um, PCI 6-pin um, power component here. All right, so first things first, we're going to get the hot air gun going. Um, actually, I think I am going to apply some fresh solder paste just as a precautionary measure. So, do that first. And the big gunk on there, hold on. So, let's see if I can do a better view. There we go. Kind of get that all over these solder joints. Um, I think this is just a better route to go. Because I do not know how, I know this unit came out in 2022, but this will just make this through hole desolder so much easier. We add this new layer of solder paste to this. Solder joints. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to get the hot air gun going. Soldering iron's at 480. Clean that up. Get that tip nice and cleaned up before I use it. this. Let's get a little heat down for a second. Okay. Alright, so I just want to touch up these solid joints. Keep that tip clean. Okay, so I'm going to desolder this excess solder on these through holes for this 6 pin PCI power cable on this ATC miner by Loyalty Tech. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flux pins. And then we're going to apply the heavy duty soldering iron. Microscope's kind of in the way, but 
and try to make it work. All right, so I'm gonna show you with the heavy duty soldering iron, how to um, get rid of this solder that's um, in between this through hole. So we're gonna use a soldering plunger for this. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna apply heat from the back side of this board with the heavy duty soldering iron. Hopefully you guys can see, all right. Pop the plunger in, it will stay for me. Sometimes there. Okay, there we go. Apply the heat there, try to get it molten. And this will take multiple times. Alright, so I have desoldered this um, PCIe 8 pin female connector using um, solder wick and the heavy duty solder station. I check for shorts, continuity testing using the voltmeter, everything looks good. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert the new one, this female PCIe 6 pin adapter. side. And that just sits in there flush. Very nice. Exactly what we need. So we're going to flip it over. Next thing we're going to do, now that the pins are in, let me uh, focus the microscope for you. Okay, you can actually see the pins there. So all I have to do is solder those on. Okay, so first thing I like to do is get these pins a little hot. It helps the, the solder paste I'm gonna use stick better to these solder joints. So we're just gonna heat this up lightly. And of course I've cleaned um, the, the pads or the solder joints, these little solder joints with IPA. And we still have our cap on tape protecting our nearby components. So I'm going to take a little solder paste. Should be just like a touch and go. Let me check it out. So we want to use uh, Kentef wipes or any lint-free wipe to dab up excess solder paste. We don't want any shorts, and of course a brush. So. Okay, so I've removed the capped on tape to get a little heat resistance off nearby components. So I've been cleaning with uh, this type of brush to make sure there's no solder building on the fan um, connector here, also with nearby resistors, everything. So what I like to do is give this a spray. Sometimes it's hard to reach in between. So I'm gonna use this 
Q-tip is also more of like a foam um, than cotton. Clean up anything in between. Solder. This is pretty effective. Somewhat absorbing, but it's more of the help you get in between these connectors. And of course, after I clean this up, I just wanted to show you, I'm gonna run this through the ultrasonic and then um, of course reassemble it. And, uh, but yeah, just wanted to show you how to do a through hole soldering um, rework process of, for a, an IO, in this case it's a PCIe female six pin adapter or if you may, connector. Hopefully you found that helpful. All right, so I reassembled this Loyalty Tech YM200 M1 series miner. It mines ETC. So we're going to test it using a bitmain power supply. It only needs 180 watts to power this unit. So we're going to plug in the Ethernet cord first. And then the power supply. I have to move it around a little. Six pin. Um, the female connector that we just um, repaired. This is a male connector. So we're just going to connect this and I'll show you the GUI once we get it up and running. This one actually takes a while to ramp up. So. And I will show you um, the results of that. But just wanted to demonstrate the reassemble again. Um, it's actually powering on. All right, so using a uh, IP scanner for your network, you can find the correct IP address. In this case, it's 192.168.1.170. And a lot of these have a default password and user. Uh, so this one's really easy. But this is the um, web interface for this miner. And at first glance, you might think, oh, this isn't hashing at all, you know, ETC. But as I mentioned before, these take a long time to ramp up and it's indicated right here. It's called the transfer state. Once this gets to 100%, it will start to actually uh, mine these ETC coins. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that I'll um, actually show you once it ramps up and that it's functioning correctly. Okay, now that the uh, ramp up time, I've been letting this run for an hour. Told you it takes a while. The acceptance rate is 100%. And the hash rate is actually above normal. So this is great. Um, I know the minor info looks like it's, you know, a couple chains are down, but that's not the case. Um, just want to show you the success of this uh, rework process. Thank you. Hopefully this was helpful. We hope you found this content helpful. If you did, please consider sharing and liking this video to help train and support our industry. Your engagement helps us reach more technicians, enthusiasts, ensuring the valuable knowledge is spread throughout the community. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more upcoming content, where we'll continue to provide in-depth demonstrations and insights into the ASIC repair and diagnostic industry. Thank you for watching and happy repairing. May your repairs be swift and your mining profitable.